What's good, YouTube? Man, it's Cascade. Can we go back to the channel? This is team number 13, the Miami Dolphins. Love to play with Tyreek Hill, but two attack of a lord gave me some trouble in this game. Um, yeah, I just got to see. It was very frustrating, but it was a very good game after the second half. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Catch you on this one. Peace. LRDA Sports brings us to the banks of the Ohio River and Paycor Stadium in Cincinnati. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Miami Dolphins and the Cincinnati Bengals. We are set to go. Evan McPherson to do the honors, and we are underway from Cincinnati. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll run here with Raheem Mostert to about the 35, second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about where they take a good first step. This run got a couple here, second and eight. Here's Tonga Vailoa to throw. He's going to drop this underneath to Mostert. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. That one good for 13 at a Dolphin first down. As a passer, he was trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of the defense. He'll hit Mostert again here. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. Well, we know he can run the football too, but he's a good pass catcher. That's been on display here, Charles, on this opening drive. And we certainly have seen the benefits of what he did in the offseason, which was spend more time with wide receivers working on routes, working on cuts in order to make himself a more complete running back and even more of a threat downfield. Here's Tongue of Iloa on first and ten. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. But when you're going up against a talented receiver like that, you just know that they're going to bring more people to him, right? They're going to double cover him every chance they get. I think that that is what we're going to see all game long, an early taste of that double, maybe even sometimes triple coverage we might see. Yeah, I think what they're counting on, his talent to sometimes beat that double coverage. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Two on a throw again. That would complete to Hill. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. It's been a seven-play opening drive, and this is third and short. From the gun, it's Tua. He is going to find Hill here. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. It's a gain of six as they're able to convert, and now it's first and goal. Here's Mostert. And he will maneuver his way down to about the 7. The line of scrimmage, the 7 now on second and goal. Off the of play action, Tug of Iloa. Oh, it was hit at the line of scrimmage and intercepted. He's got the lane, and there he goes. 30, past the 20. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six from Bengals TD. So just a tremendous play there defensively on this opening drive, not just to make the interception, but to take it all the way home.
and it felt like this was a defense that was on its heels a bit to start this thing off. Yeah, they pretty much let the other guys march right down the field until that moment. Yeah, key play there. Turned it all around. Big moment. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. A short kick taken at the 18. And a nifty return there all the way across the 40. Well, you gave up the first touchdown of the game, but how about the response? Big time return. Now it's their chance to try and put points on the board. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. On play action, here's Tua. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. And yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. So now a fresh set of downs, first and 10 after roughing the passer. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. Another catch there for Waddle. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. Play action, now it's Tua. Oh, looking for Waddle, but it's intercepted. Cheetah Bay Aluzie with a pick. And the Bengals are going to get the football back at their own 17. And as we've seen, points have been precious so far, and they just threw some away on that snap. And look, let's face it, as we advance further into this game, that play will be on the minds of everyone who's watching it. They wonder if this is the turning point. Is this the spot where those points were given away? It could cost them a ball game. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. 11 mighty. 11 mighty. Slot man moves right. 11 MC Tate. 11 Thomas. From the 25 on second down. Burrow under pressure and he'll go down. They'll sack him on what ought to be the final play of this first quarter. Jalen Phillips came in there hard on the blitz and got him down nine yards behind the line of scrimmage. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. So that'll leave Burrow and the Bengals with a third and long after that sack we just saw. They'll look to throw. And a throw there going to be incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent. And that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Fourth down, here's Joe Burrow. To the sideline, and he's got it. They say the feet are down. Yes, the line judge says they're in. That'll be a first down. Here we go. So from the 36 now, first and 10. And this turns into a nice game with a slide at the end. Big time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. Burrow throw into the hands of Sample. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. 
They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. From the red zone now, here's Burrow first down. Dumps it off to Mixon. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. 11-11-11. To throw again on second down. Burrow. And that'll be caught. Touchdown, Bengals. It's Tyler Boyd. From 13 yards out. And the Bengals have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Zach Taylor's made the decision. They'll go for two here. And Burrow's going to look to throw for it. And this will be caught. So the try for two, good. And it pushes him out to a 15-0 lead. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. And they'll be set up with good field position here as he gets this up over the 40-yard line. At some point, we're going to get it through our heads. Right. Special teams, special teams, special teams. The spark that often wins games. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And job one here, Charles. Just keep possession. Most of it, and he drops the ball. And they take over. They'll set up shop at the 46-yard line. And a little careless there, Charles, on that carry. And it's not just having two hands on the ball. It's tucking it away. It's using your body to keep people shielded off. It's so many different things into taking care of it and having ball security. In that case, though, we didn't see it happen. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. Now Burrow on first down. This goes out wide for Mixon. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Here we go, here we go. Working with second and five now. Now it's Burrow. And his throw here is incomplete. We've already seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first catch. You're going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. Burrow throw. Open receiver, that's Hayden Hurst, the tight end. And he is going to have the Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. To the air again, Burrow. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off, Byron Jones. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. Boy, a big play right there. I mean, a touchdown on this drive could have really put some separation on the scoreboard. Instead, it's the defense who scores. And, partner, we got a game again. And we do have one because of what you just described. A defense that understood what was going on in this game and did something about it. They knew their offense needed some help. They just provided it. They're back in this one. This one taken just inside the 10. Oh, able to avoid him. And able to return this one all the way out to the other side of the field across the 50. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. Here we go. Mixon with a first down carry. Number five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Burrow going to fake to Mixon and now look to throw. A throw for Boyd, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Eric Rowe. And the Dolphins are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. And that now two interceptions thrown in the second quarter. And you know, a lot of people look at these guys and they think to themselves that maybe, possibly, they're still thinking about the first one. And they probably are. I think in this case, he's just trying to atone for the first interception. Tried a little bit too hard, maybe forced it a bit, and instead created a second one. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. 
Tua sets up to pass it. Over the middle, he's got Gesicki, the big 6-5 tight end. And they're going to get this up to midfield. From midfield, here's Tua. Getting this out to the flat, Mostert. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Tua setting up shop to throw again. And they'll get this on the screen to Mostert. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. That's complete to Mostert out of the backfield. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. So five yards here, five on the play, and that'll make it second down. Down. 22 meters. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. He'll buy some time right. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. Durham Smythe from six yards away. And the Dolphins get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. This is why a lot of play callers love play action in this spot. You just want to freeze the linebackers just for a second. Then you got a chance to get a quick pass into your tight end right behind them for a touchdown. A little surprising they wouldn't go for two, but this is up and good. And this is now a one-point game. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. From the six. And he'll get to the 30-yard line before going out of bounds. I'm on, ready? The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. And with a one-point lead, you'd have to think they'll be looking just to get this to halftime. 11-11-11. Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And now Burrow going to be intercepted yet again. Picked off, Byron Jones. And the Dolphins are in great shape here as they take over at their 46-yard line. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 46. And going deep for Hill. And that is intercepted on the sideline. Wait, no. They'll say no. It was caught out of bounds. So this is just an incompletion here. To throw again on second down. Tua. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Kosicki. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Charles Davis on Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. Bengals set to receive. They have the lead and the football to begin quarter number three. This one fielded at the five. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Come on, the Bengals drive about go, go, to get go, go, going. Go, go. And Charles, they've got the lead. I would imagine the overall halftime tone was a positive one, but what do you think the talking points were in the locker room? Well, if there were three talking points at the half, partner, all of them were about turnovers because they were pretty loose with the ball. Otherwise, this lead could be even bigger. Now, I don't think that they overly harped on it, but I think they told them, guys, if you want to keep calling those plays that are exciting, you've got to take care of the ball. Otherwise, we may have to dial things back a little bit. To throw on second and ten. Burrow looking for Mixon this time. He's got him on the crossing route. 
And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Burrow on play action. And that one going to come up short. Low throw. He released that awkwardly. It almost looked like a pitcher who gripped his fastball a little too hard and let it go late and it bounced in front of the plate. Yeah, one of those fastballs that ends up at 57 feet, not 60 feet, 6 inches. Just a little short with the arm, which is unusual because we saw him in warm-ups. He's got a big, strong arm when he delivers it with confidence. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Here we go, here we go. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incomplete. Throwing again, it's Burrow. That one taken in by T. Higgins. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And he'll be taken down right around the 41 yard line. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And the Dolphins are going to have the football here at their own 35-yard line. Tungavailoa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. On play action, they'll throw. Rolling to his right. A quick throw knocked away. A third quarter now to one point game as they line up second and ten. Here's a toss play right to Mostert. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. On first down, they go with Mostert again. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. From just shy of midfield, Tua. They'll get this to his tight end, Gasicki. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. Throwing now is Chugabailoa. He'll swing this out to Mostert. It goes as a gain of six, and it's a first down. In motion, Hill. Tua now on first down. To a hit, and the ball is out. Fortunate to get that football back, because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity, because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. Meanwhile, Tua's throw here, take it in by Gesicki. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a quarterback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? This one complete to his fullback out of the backfield. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 20-yard line. They'll try and run right on the option. Nine yards on the first down. Keeper in it's second and one. Up the middle they go with Mostert. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And the 
question now, how do they want to work the clock here on first and goal? A field goal would give them the late lead. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he'll get it down close to the goal line, but not quite in. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. Alec Ingold punching it in from a yard away. And the Dolphins have taken a fourth quarter lead. So quite the comeback here. They have erased that deficit, pushed themselves out in front now here in this fourth quarter. Well, this game's kind of felt like a horse race, hasn't it, partner? Because you have the other guys run out to their big lead, but then slowly and surely, they've been creeping up and closing that gap. Now they've stuck ahead in front here late in the game. The finish line's not far away. They need their defense to finish this thing off. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. Well, now how about this return? And great field position coming up as he gets this just shy of the 45 out of bounds at the 44. And when you're facing a deficit on the scoreboard, you're just looking for something to get you right back into the game, and that's the spark that they were looking right. for. They got it with that big return. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. The pressure is on now. They're being shut out here in the second half after a decent first half offensively. But they need their best drive of the game right here. And a solid run here as our pick is right down to the 42-yard line. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. Dumps it off to Mixon. And some room to maneuver. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. A gain of 32 that time. Here we go. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. They'll give it to Mixon. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. Joe Mixon, a 10-yard touchdown run. And the Bengals answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. A plenty of scoring here of late, and our lead changes hands now in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they just gave up a touchdown the other end, so they knew that with time getting short, they had to put something together here, and they were able to do so and retake the lead right back. And he'll get into the end zone. So now a field goal would only tie as they up their lead to three. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. After the loss to start out here, second and 11. Looking to pass to him. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Hill. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. And this is going to be incomplete. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. In motion, Hill. Fourth down, fourth quarter, here's Tua. And able to find Gesicki as tight end. And he will have a Dolphins first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. 20, 10, 5, and all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 61 yards. And the Dolphins use the defensive breakdown to take the lead away here in the fourth. 
Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that will make this a four-point game. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Taken in at the three. And he'll be out of bounds here, a yard shy of the 25 at the 24. The Bengals drive about to get going. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. They find some open field here. And they do finally get him, but he takes it to the 25. 11, 11. They'll run again with P. Ryan, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. The defense showing some anger after giving up the big play. This time they'll lose one or two. Here we go. 11, MP, pace. On second down, here's Mixon. Five yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. 11, 11, 11. Burrow. This goes out wide for Mixon. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Hammering for the goal line. He loses the football. And the offense will get this one back. Boy, that could have been catastrophic at this late stage of the game, but they avoid disaster. 11, 11, 11, 11. Here's a run with Mixon. And he'll get it down close to the goal line, but not quite in. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. Mixon trying to punch it in. No gain on the play, and what to do now on fourth and goal. I know this is your spot, Marcus, so forgive me for jumping in, but there's no decision right here. They have to go for it in this situation. They're down on the scoreboard. How many other opportunities are you going to get? Yeah, I'm with you. Fourth quarter, like you said, down on the scoreboard. And remember here, a field goal virtually does them no good. Ten cycles. Ready? They'll start on the ground with Mostert. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. Really shouldn't be a surprise. It's going to be hard to move people in this situation. You know they're going to bring the pressure defensively. Because I remember playing in these spots, and my coach was always saying, don't be afraid to try and create a safety, too. They're going to bring pressure. That one looks like he'll throw here. Now a short one to Gesicki. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 14 seconds to go in the game. A search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Tongue of Iloa looking to throw it. He is going to find Hill here. He's at the 40, the 20. And he's across for the late touchdown. And in the final seconds, that one should just about put a capper on this game. So a little icing on the cake there before the clock hits all zeros. What a way to finish things off. Exactly what you want. Not much time and a touchdown to put things away. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that pushes the lead up to 11. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. It's a squibber picked up around the 27. 